Welcome to Ellen B. Show and Tell. As I uh, reported in my last video, I am planning on closing my Etsy shop and changing from a paper artist to a full-time writer. Um, but it's going to take time. <laughs> so what I'm trying to do is to use up what I have now and um, not buy anything. Oh, so hard. I so want the Graphic 45, the, um, the Alice paper, and I have not purchased it yet. I don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, I'm really having major, major issues here. But otherwise, I'm not buying anything unless it's a special order for um, the Etsy shop. So one of the things that I have made and sold that has been pretty popular have been my letter boxes, specifically the Sher Sherlock Holmes. And I've made this letter box in Jane, uh, Jane Austen. I've made it in Emily Bronte. But um, I had um, like four pages left of the Sherlock paper and decided I'm just going to go for it. Now, if you don't know Sherlock Holmes, or you're not a fan of Sherlock Holmes, I went on to Google. Amazing! <laughs> I didn't even know this, but Sherlock Holmes is the most portrayed literary character in film and TV. We're talking 254 times, and that's uh, reporting from uh, 2012. Uh, Arthur Conan Doyle wrote 60 stories about Sherlock Holmes. And if you want to see a good film about Sherlock Holmes, of course, I don't know whether you'd want to or not, but if you do, there's a great one starring Martin Clunes, and I'm sorry, I don't know the title of it, but um, Conan Doyle, he actually was, was a physician and in real life, he helped solve a murder mystery. So it's a really good BBC production, and that's enough about Sherlock Holmes, right? Okay, so this is what it looks like. I always put uh, some vintage stamps on it. And then in the back, oh, I always had a, my card and envelope that I make. I have a little wax, pretend wax, sealing wax here, and that's got the crown. And then when you open it up, this is what you've got. Can you see? Yeah. In the BBC TV show, the wallpaper in Sherlock's room is very similar to this black and white print. Um, and what he did one day, because he was bored, was to paint a happy face in yellow on the wall. And then he took a gun and fired some bullets into it. And his reasoning was, the wall had it coming. Okay. Also on the wall is this picture of a skull. And so I have included a key, because I figure there should be some mystery in a secret box that Sherlock was, um, uh, that he owned. So this is my Sherlock box, and I've got, I made two of these, and that's it. Forever gone, Sherlock and the secret box. Now, two more things, just want to say. Another thing that I did was to purchase six pages of this, and I don't know whether you can tell, but this is Doctor Who paper. So I've got six pieces of paper that I have to use. Oh, gosh. <laughs> this is one of the reasons why one should not hoard, <laughs> because then you're stuck with all this wonderful paper, and you don't know what to do with it. So I am going to make a Doctor Who uh, secret letter box even though I've never watched one uh, episode of Doctor Who, and I'm going to make at least one journal, and then hopefully I will be finished with this paper. And lastly, one last thing to share. I have heard from people 
who do not have a Dollar Tree anywhere near their home. And I'm one of the lucky ones, obviously. I have three within a matter of four miles. So for those of you that don't have a Dollar Tree, I urge you to go on to eBay and start looking for items from China. These, these darling paper, uh, not paper clips, binders clips, came in a package of 10. They're assorted, but these are the four different styles. And it cost me $1.17, and that included the shipping. Now, if you, uh, and that's because I purchased it outright instead of bidding on it. But I promise you, you can find some wonderful items from China. And um, for example, today I just won something, and that's an old, a copy of an old photo that was made into a postcard and that's the couple who are kissing in New York City, the sailor and the gal, um, and that was uh, at the end of World War II. I got it for one penny and that includes shipping. I don't know how PayPal is going to like me having to pay one penny. Um, and I don't know how China is able to do that because I know it costs more than a penny to mail. But um, I love eBay for this very reason. So anyway, that's it, folks. I'm sorry I talked on and on and on. But my shop won't be closing until at least January. And um, if you have any ideas as to what to, I should do with my Doctor Who paper, please let me know. And I urge you to head over to the woman's waiting room because I'm really trying to get into the groove of shopping and or rather writing. And I have a wonderful little post up about Dollar Tree. So take good care. Hope everyone's well and see you next time. Bye.